Welcome to the eMoney Client Portal tutorial. In this video, we'll cover how to register and how to navigate your client portal. We'll begin by going to thelifewealthgroup.com. Once you're there, at the top right corner, you'll see a drop down menu with three options. You'll want to click on the one that says eMoney Net Worth. Here you'll see your login page. If you haven't registered already, you'll need to call or email us to request your registration email. Once we've received your request, then we'll be able to send you your registration email by sending it to your email address. When you receive your email, it'll look just like this. It'll say register for your financial website and it'll have a button where you can click register now. Please remember to record your username and password for future use. Once you've created your username and password and set up two-factor authentication, you should receive a confirmation email. This email will confirm your username and it will give you the link to the login page that you can bookmark on your computer or on your phone. In order to bookmark the login page on your iPhone, you will need to temporarily set Safari as your default internet browser. You would simply just go to Settings, then you would go down to the Safari app. Once you are at the Safari app, you'll click on it, and then you'll see a section called Default Browser App. You'll click on that, and then you'll choose Safari as the default internet browser. Once you've set Safari as your default internet browser, you can go to your confirmation email while on your phone and click on the website link to take you to the login page. Your iPhone will then prompt you to click the share button and then there will be an option to add to home screen, which will bookmark the website on your phone and will look just like another app on your phone's home page. Once you've bookmarked the eMoney app on your phone, you no longer need to keep Safari as your default internet browser. Now you can enter your username and password into the login page on your phone or your desktop. Now we are inside of our client portal. This is designed to be able to produce primarily a net worth statement of all of your assets. The accounts card on the left hand side allows you to see your accounts by categories. You can see them by your cash, your credit cards, taxable accounts, tax advantaged accounts, life insurance, any loans, mortgages, real estate, rental properties, stock options. You can add an account by clicking on the add account button at the top of the accounts card. The Add Accounts feature allows you to add accounts where you can set up a connection with an online account or you can create a manual entry. If you would like to add a connection with an online account, you'll choose I have an online account. Then you'll search the institution. Once you've found the right one, then you'll click on it and then you'll enter in your username and password that you would use when you normally log into that institution's website. It will show the updated values on a daily basis, but it does not provide us or eMoney access to move money in the accounts. It only reports the balances. You can also add assets that you do not have online access to. This can be cash, investment accounts, insurance, liabilities, mortgages, stock options, notes receivable. This section doesn't allow you to add real estate or business interests, but I'll get to how you can add real estate or business interests later. Once you've added your accounts, you can go back to the home page and you can see all of the accounts you've added in the accounts card section. If you want to see the accounts that are manually entered and are not being updated on a daily basis, You'll notice that there's a blue box next to the accounts that are manually entered, 
and it has a button that says link account where you can easily link that to an online account if you have one. You can also see the date that it was last updated and you can see if it's been outdated for quite a while or if it needs to be updated to a more recent date. You can also click on the name of the account as it's a blue hyperlink and it will bring you to a, a page that will allow you to view the details of that particular account and also make changes by clicking the edit button. The next section we want to focus on is the organizer tab, which is the second tab of the client portal. The organizer tab is a great place to organize your financial life and it's focused around people where you can add family members, CPAs, lawyers, attorneys that you work with. You can also add business interests and property as well. You can add real estate, property, business interest down here. You can also add uh, and view your accounts. You can look at your professional contacts. You can review your income, expenses, and savings any future major capital purchases, expenses that you have coming down the pipeline, and financial priorities and risk tolerance. The third tab of the client portal is the goal section. If you click on the goal section, it will give you a probability of success that you'll meet your goals. It also shows you some of the assumptions that are being used and the details. And down here, it'll break down uh, the time frame which you plan to retire, your annual retirement living expenses, and the probability that you're going to meet your retirement goal. You can even add goals if you want to include additional things like new cars, or if you want to pay for education expenses in the future, if you have uh, large travel, or family vacation coming up, things like that, that would be major capital expenditures that you'd like to add to your projection. The fourth tab on the client portal is the spending section. And this one is optional and you can include the spending history from your bank accounts and credit, uh, credit cards that you've added to the client portal by going to settings, and then going to privacy settings. And by doing so, and changing the spending permissions to limited or full, it'll begin to populate the spending section of your client portal. And when you do so, you can uh, look at the historical spending categories over uh, chosen periods of time, you can create budgets, and you can also categorize transactions. The fifth tab of the client portal is the investment section. What you'll notice when you go here is you'll see a balance history on the right hand side, and it'll show you a historical projection of the total balance history of your investments month by month over the course of time that we've been tracking it. You can also choose, instead of looking at the balance history of all of the investments, you can go investment by investment and it'll show you a graph of the balance history over time for each account. It also allows you to look at the allocation of each account or of all of the investments combined. And it'll also show you over a three month period of time how each investment went up or down over six months, over one year, and over a lifetime. The sixth tab of the client portal is called the vault. The vault is a place where the client and the advisor can share documents back and forth uh, that may be sensitive and may not be appropriate to be sent over email. The seventh tab of the client portal is the report section and the report section allows you to have access to uh, a multitude of different types of reports of which we have uh, a handful of favorites. Our favorites are the balance sheet report, the cash flow report, the net worth history, and the account history. Starting with the balance sheet report, 
This is one of our favorites, and it allows you to see an itemized list of your assets, as well as any liabilities, and it'll give you a net worth figure. There's also a print button that you can use to print off your balance sheet periodically as needed. The next report is the cash flow report, and this one is a great way to double check the figures that we're using for our meetings. Down here you can see in the cash flow ledger, there's different columns. One of them says income flows, investment income, plan distributions. If you click on one of the headers with the blue hyperlink, it'll actually allow you to see the different sources of income for that category. You can see the pension, the rental income, salary, and you can also see Social Security. This also allows you to see the difference in Social Security between one spouse and the other. You can even go further to see expenses and how that's broken out. You can see total living expenses as well as taxes being paid, which are automatically calculated um, in the program. Here you'll see plan savings and where the plan savings are coming from. This is to the 401k. And then total portfolio assets and how those are affected over time with your cash flow. Finally, the next two reports I'll go through quickly. The net worth history shows you the uh, snapshot of the net worth month by month over time. And it, this will show you the total net worth figures, total assets, total liabilities, total net worth. The next report, account history, will do the same thing, except it'll go account by account. So if you wanna see the balance history of each account, then the account history report will give you that, and it'll go back as far as uh, you've had the account on the program. The last two things I want to go through is there's a help section up here at the top where you can have resources. Um, there's also the phone number to eMoney. If you have any questions, you can call eMoney um, about the portal and ask any questions about that. Also, under settings, there's a couple different features that are available. Uh, the one that we like the most is this weekly financial summary. This will give you a, a weekly report on the activity of your accounts and the changes to the net worth each week. Then in the, the settings, you can also change uh, your passwords and under security and um, the privacy has the spending uh, transaction history you can turn on if you'd like. This has been the eMoney Client Portal tutorial. If you have any questions, please give us a call and one of our team members will be glad to assist. Thank you and have a great day.